Alright, so I'm going to do Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Essentially, this whole run utilizes just a really quick uh, warp. Uh, basically, the game does not realize that there's walls when you load in. So, the actual game starts after I hit continue, or the actual time starts after I hit continue. So, three, two, one, go. Use the uh, red guard because they because they have the adrenaline rush ability. Here in a minute, we'll use that swing so faster. Yeah, for some reason this game decides that, oh, if you load in and move, the walls don't exist. I hit I knew this would happen. Uh, that's... There we go. Sorry, it's been a little bit since um, I've actually done the run. A lot of life going on. been able to get it down just. Essentially what I'm just doing here is running past every single thing. <clears throat> Try not to get caught on rats because for some reason your character doesn't know how to step over. trap coming up. Technically it doesn't save any time at the but I always activate it just in case they were to hit me in the head with an arrow so I don't get stunned. dungeon all right so when I come up here I'm just gonna start punching all right here in the face you're look, you're, punching you're for a couple you have seconds. a death wish trust me you don't want to try that again it's him to follow me That's don't say I didn't warn you my blood for the Empire Roy to come over and open this door. Stick close and let us do you Alright, then we're gonna beat up on Glenroy. Hey, <laughs> um, also it is a thing to mention if you ever do decide to run this game or anything, you have to have your FPS displayed and run it on E. 
Yeah, when you punch Glenroy and get him to follow you, he, all these guys decide that they want to randomly take them down. I'll let you I accept your surrender. This one's mine. I'll let you live this time, Kerr. Okay. Now we just we just need to wait for. Okay, door's open. So that's the last combat of any sh shape size we. It in. And another. Let's pretend there's no walls here. And I did. <clears throat> but for some reason, when you hit the kill plane in this, instead of it actually killing you, it decides to just warp you back up to the closest area right above you. So now we bypass that rat. And we're out of the sewers without even getting a class. <clears throat> Alright, so from here, it's relatively simple. Go to the map. Head over to the district. And decide. <clears throat> it's not just walls we don't like. We don't like doors. So we're gonna bypass. Sometimes this door decides to give me trouble. It really does not want to let me in. There we go. And I have no idea why. But they decided to leave this door here. Which takes you to the end of the game. So we go for a little walk. Decide we don't like what we see. And just kind of turn right back around and go in the building. Then we wait and see if the whole run was for naught. <clears throat> come on, come on, come on, come on. It normally does it at about 14 hours remaining. And there we go. Alright. Hi, two. Martin. Alright. Step over here. I do. And time. And have an ending cutscene, guys. Thank you. Oh, I know, and I love it. Um, the funny thing is, if anyone wants to learn this speedrun, it took me less than a day to get it down to 10 minutes. That's from watching the videos on how to do those skips and everything. Um, real quick before I go off, I do want to see... Or, I do want to let you guys know if you do want to see more content like this, or just anything else that I'd happen to be streaming that day, I do stream over at Game Bros WP. And we are the same thing on every platform. You're welcome. You guys have a great night, and uh, thank you all for supporting Nami.